Today we are going to be tying a uni knot. This is a very useful and very strong knot for many fishing applications. We're going to start by showing you how to attach your line to your hook. So this is your eyelet. Go ahead and thread this through the eye of the hook. Pull a pretty long tag right here. You take your tag, I'm going to get this out of the way, and take the tag and make a P with your line, a loop of the P. And I have this going towards me, this tag towards me. I'm going to go ahead and pinch the intersections of all three of these pieces. And leaving these two fingers free, I'm going to thread through it one, pinch, grab, two, and keep repeating this, three, four, five. Five loops on the uni knot will give you maximum strength. Go ahead and cinch your tag fairly tight, not all the way yet. Before you tighten it all the way down, you're going to want to wet your knot here. And then when your knot is wet, go ahead and slide it down to your eyelet. Tighten your tag in just one last time. And then tighten your main line, and that will give you a really strong uni knot. So now that we know the basic uni knot, we can go ahead and use the application of the uni to attach two lines together. So this is called the double uni. Let's pull our tag ends fairly close together here. Give ourselves a little room to work with on each side. I'm going to pinch these two lines together close. Form a loop. This time it looks like a nine. Pinch the intersections and go through the loop. One, two, three, four, five times. Snug that down. Don't tighten it yet. Give ourselves a little room to work with on this other side. Same thing. Form your loop. Make sure you have plenty of tag end to work with. Pinch the intersection. One, two, three, four, five. Snug that down fairly tight. At this point, you're going to want to wet your knots. Wet this knot and wet this knot real well. Tighten them down. And before you snug it all the way down, I'm going to tighten my tag ends first. And then these knots should tighten down on each other really well. Then we're going to go ahead and we can trim our tag ends here. So now we can take this and attach it to our eye of the hook. Just as before, thread it through the eye, pinch the intersections, throw a loop. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five. Now tighten this down. I'm going to snug it to the hook, and one last time I'm going to tighten my tag end before I tighten my main line. Of course, you make sure that knot is wet before you do this. Go ahead and trim our tag end. And then one last step is if we want to add a trailer to our hook, we're going to simply do a open loop connection here, so an open loop uni knot. Go ahead and give yourself a little room to work with, and I use this finger to stop that knot, and I'm going to use that as my loop opener. So I've got this opened up. Go ahead and form your nine or your loop. Pinch the intersections and one, two, three, oops, three, four four, five. You can see what happens if you don't give yourself plenty of room to work with there, so make sure you have a good tag end. Wet the knot. Now you've got a good slip knot, and to any hook you can go ahead and slide that on and tighten it down. And now you have all of your knots from your Tippet extension knot down to the eye of your hook, to the bend of your hook with a tippet extension to tie on a dropper.